So in this video, I am answering a question from the latest uh, Pearson IT Foundation Class 9th Kinematics Level 2 first question, which is the 48th question. The question I will put in the description box, but right now I am reading so that we understand the question. The question is, show that for a body which is projected vertically upwards from the ground, the distance travelled by it in the last second in its upward motion is a constant and is independent of initial velocity of throw. So, assume that a body is a thrown from the ground and it goes up to a height of uh, point C in n seconds. We have to find distance travelled by the body in the last one second and we have to show that distance travelled by the body in the last one second is independent of the initial velocity of throw. So, distance travelled in the last one second is distance travelled by the body in n seconds minus distance travelled by the body in n minus 1 second. So, distance travelled by the body in the last one second is b to c. That is distance travelled by the body in n seconds that is a to c minus distance travelled by the body in n minus 1 second that is a to b. We will use the concept or the formula of distance travelled by the body in the nth second. So this is distance travelled by the body in nth second and this happens to be we will apply the u plus a by 2 times 2n minus 1 formula that is distance travelled by the body in the nth second. So here I should write u plus not a I should write a g by 2 twice n minus 1. So this is the formula for distance travelled by the body in the nth second. So a to c time taken is n seconds and because it is upward motion so here I should write minus and for this distance travelled by the body from a to b in n minus 1 second is u minus g by 2 times it twice n minus 1 but here n is n minus 1 so n minus 1 minus 1 something of this kind so then here it is uh, u plus i'm sorry it's minus g by 2 times twice n 2 2 cancels so minus g n minus of minus plus g by 2 minus u minus g by 2 and 2 is a distributed here we get here 2 n minus 2 minus 1 and close one more step here u minus g n plus g by 2 minus u minus g by 2 times twice n 2 2 cancel we get here minus g n this is minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus of minus is a plus so minus 3 times minus g by 2 is 3 g by 2 the last but one step in a way this plus g by 2 minus u plus g n minus 3 g by 2. Things which get cancelled is u, things which get cancelled is g n. What is left is uh, g by 2 minus 3 g by 2. And so g minus 3 g is minus 2 g and this is minus a g. So we, we were supposed to prove that distance travelled by the body in the last second of the throw is uh, something which is independent of uh, initial velocity of throw. So this came in terms of a g. So this expression doesn't have initial velocity. So distance travelled by the body when during the upward motion in the last one second is independent of initial velocity.